Shane with the simple gig.com educating and training not entertaining and complaining so when it comes to Instacart there are times when it's actually a good deal and it's a good thing to do what you want to look for here's what I've learned the hard way see this seven dollars for nine items no way now 0.8 miles is good but no way it has to be more dollars than items um, okay, Salt Lake is too far away, too far, okay, Park City, nine items, $27, that's a good one, nine miles is a little bit of a drive, but you know what, not that bad, and of course that one's gone right away, so anyway, the bottom line is, what I'm telling you is, the formula is more dollars, or just as many dollars per items, okay, units can be more, but items have to be under the dollar amount or at least close to the same as the dollar amount. Your uh, your pickup where you're going to shop, the store has to be close, of course, and then you're driving, you want it to be under 10 miles. So a dollar per item, you have to shop them within a an item per minute, okay? You want to be getting, you want to spend less than a minute per item. You want a dollar per item, and you want your you want to be close to the store. So all of these park cities, these would be good, but forty three items for thirty. No way, fifty seven. You're out of your mind. No way. Twenty six items for six. No way. Twenty five items for twenty dollars. No way. Nine items for twenty two dollars. Yes, absolutely. I would rather do a small quick order that has a, that's a great one, nine items for $22, seven miles to the house, and we're already close to the grocery store. So that's, how, that's your formula. You want to get each item in one minute per item. You want the dollar amount to be just as many items or more than the items. And you want to be close to the store and your delivery to be less than 10 miles. That's the formula, Shane, with the simple gig.